Hey guys, Ralph here, and welcome to True Power Health on this wonderful Wednesday <clears throat> here in Connecticut. Life's good, campers. Life is good. You saw the thumbnail. Let's get right to it, man. This is good news. I consider this to be good news. And that Durian Rider is off the roids. Now, if you have been following this channel for any period of time, you know that earlier, I was very vocal about it. I was, I was a big fan of his. Um, it's not popular with a lot of people to be a big fan of his, but I like his message. I like his in-your-face approach, and I like his passion and all this sort of stuff. When he was with, uh, back in the day with Freely, you know I like Freely. I think she's the best. I really do. Her, John Rose, well, and now I suppose we can put Durian Ryder back in there as well. But the two of them together... I thought were wonderful. They absolutely revolutionized the uh, YouTube situation for vegans. They just absolutely did. They started the whole thing. They brought it front and center. Uh, Freely's channels probably have a little more success. <clears throat> Durian Riders has several channels. So he's, I mean, you know, great. But he, um, he's a little more controversial. So he's an acquired taste. Some people don't like him. And whenever I, I recommend the channel to anybody, I tell them, there's going to be some foul language. It may not be what you like, but just concentrate on the message. And um, <clears throat> I guess he was dabbling with roids for quite a while. Um, for the longest time, and, and this is what I found a little hypocritical, he would just excoriate anybody that was on the roids. Oh, yeah, you're, you're, you're ripped, but you're juiced, man, blah, blah, blah. And they wouldn't say anything. And he found that to be hypocritical. Now, all of a sudden, he's on the roids. And, you know, I emailed him. I said, how are you any different than Kino Body or anybody else? It, the, the, the guys that you hate. And his explanation was that he did via the um, channel was that he wanted to see what it was all about. If he was going to be in this industry, he wanted to see what made them work, what the advantages were, what the disadvantages were. And he was, I now I said, he was dabbling with them for quite a while. When he and Freely broke up, uh, one of the reasons he said that uh, they broke up is that she was taking Botox. And she said, Botox, that's nothing. This guy's been taking steroids for the longest time and not saying anything. Yeah, and so anyway, you know, here's the deal. Here's the deal. I believe in health. If you've been following this channel, health is the number one thing. Meditation, fruits, vegetables, corn, rice, peas. I, it, it's health that I'm talking about. Type 2 diabetes, gone. Heart disease, gone, okay? Um, and steroids are just not healthy. I mean, that's all there is to it. He completely lost his hair, which is a symptom of steroids. We'll see if that's going to come back. Probably not. Um, he had an awesome head of hair for a long time, and it's completely gone. In that regard, he takes his hat off. He looks like a little old man. Um, a shredded one. I mean, that's, that's another thing, guys. He, he keeps himself in phenomenal shape. Steroids are nothing. He's always, always 24-7, lean as can be, out on the bike. His passion for the bike is unparalleled. I mean, he that's another one. Uh, the vegan community is great, but the cycling community has got a huge bump. Huge bunch, bump in popular, popularity due primarily to him and his website. Um... He got me riding the bike. I'm telling you guys, I like his message. I can get past the F-bombs and all that sort of stuff, but I like his message. For the longest time, I was part of his coaching group um, and still am. He blocked me for some, well, I know why, because I wasn't complimentary about his steroid abuse. And that's what it was. It was abuse. Say what you want, it's abuse. Um... So again, I couldn't push him for the longest time. He blocked me from his uh, 
from his uh, coaching group. And uh, so be it. But a couple guys have uh, commented on this, uh, on my comments and emails and everything, that he's off the juice. And sure enough, I went back and looked at a couple things, and he absolutely has. He shrunk right down, um, not to where he was. That'll take a while, to, to the levels that he was before. But he shrunk now right down all that water retention and bloat and everything that you get from uh, his face was puffy and disfigured. Um, he always used to say, oh, I have such a lean face. And for the longest time, I'm looking at him going, no, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. Um, it was because of the roids. So um, anyway, he's back, and I'm, I'm glad he's back. From a health perspective, I don't want to see anybody doing that. He's a relatively younger guy. I mean, he's, I'm, I mean, I've been doing this longer than he's, he's been alive, you know. Uh, he's 45, 46, something like that. So, you know, he was in the health industry and he wanted to see what the big deal was all about, about, you know, steroids. And I have to say that uh, crossed my mind at different times. You know, all these guys are getting these crazy, insane uh, bodies and everything. What is it all about? And if it wasn't the health issue, I would have tried them myself. But it's like saying, you know, I don't have to try heroin to know that it's uh, maybe it feels good. I don't know. But I know it's not good for you. And that's what was going on with the steroids. So I, I, I've, never, I've never touched them once. Maybe they help. At my age, maybe, uh, you know, <laughs> that's another thing. Testosterone replacement therapy. That's what these bodybuilders say for, uh, makes them sleep better at night instead of saying they're steroid abusers. No, I'm replacing my testosterone as I get older. Guys, it's, it's a steroid junkie. Case closed. It's a steroid junkie. You want to call me, call me holier than thou? Absolutely. freaking lutely You can thrive without it. Trust me. I, I, I'm not listening to any testosterone replacement therapy. Give me a break. Give me a freaking break. You, you're, you're a steroid junkie. Case closed. Anyway, but Durian Ryder is back. And for the health community, I, I, I think that's a good thing. So if uh, any of you are interested, if you haven't uh, looked at his uh, channel, check it out. He has some good thing. It's predominantly cycling. Um, and guys, there's something to be said for cycling. There just is. You want to lose weight. You want to strip weight. A, the True Power Diet, which I didn't invent, raw fruits and vegetables and juices primarily. You want to throw some rice, corn, peas, potatoes in there, the starches be my guest. But the primary thing is raw organic fruits and vegetables. And get on the bike. You want to get, you'll get skinny, skinny, skinny. I prefer the kettlebell for athletes and all this sort of stuff. I do both of them. And life's good. But guys, he, he has some good stuff. And now that he's off the roids, and, not, and that's another thing. When he was on the roids, he was promoting them. And I just, I just couldn't live with that. Oh, it feels so good. I've got just the, the, the muscle is just coming out of nowhere. And I'm the only one at the gym that's ripped. And oh, God. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Anyway, so that's that. If you like checking out his stuff, do so. There's a couple years in there where he's pushing the steroids, and I strongly suggest you don't get, don't even listen to it, really. But um, he's back. And those viewers that uh, turned me on to that, thank you. Thank you. I like to know what's going on, and uh, he's a big part of the community. So anyway, that's that. Eat and drink fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power, not the fake stuff. True power. Love you all.